In 1 Corinthians 6, we read that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. We are told, Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortionists shall inherit the kingdom of God. This is the identity of unbelievers. The Corinthian church was a church struggling with many carnal issues, yet they were saved people, believers of Jesus. In the context of the chapter, they are being called out for bringing internal disputes in the body of Christ before the unjust, the systems of law of unbelievers. And they are being reminded of who these unrighteous people are that they are submitting themselves to and admonished to rather settle their disputes among themselves. Such were some of them, but they were washed and sanctified and justified in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of God. They were not sanctified and justified by repenting from sin, praying repeatedly to be forgiven, or by being good enough. They were sanctified and justified in the name of Jesus and by the Spirit of God. They were the righteousness of Christ by faith, and their identity was found in Christ, not with any of those things associated with the unbelievers. Even if they may have struggled with some of those things, that is not who they were in Christ. That was not their identity. They are encouraged and admonished not to be like the unrighteous. Of course, there is nothing good about those things that are damaging to our lives. But also ask yourself, if, as believers, they were perfect in their flesh, why did they need to be encouraged in this way? As saved people, we all fall short in our flesh, but that is not who we truly are. Our identity is in Christ. Jesus has taken charge of us. He has taken responsibility for us. This is why Paul can say in the same passage that all things are lawful for him, even though not all things are expedient. As believers, we are found in Christ. The law cannot condemn us for any shortcomings because we are not under it. In a legal sense, sin is violation of the law. Since we are not under the law as believers, we are not sinners, even if we may fall short in our flesh. We are safe in the arms of Jesus, and nothing can remove us. Our way forward is to live in faith, trusting God to do a good work in us by grace, by His power. Today, there are some self-righteous religious hypocrites that want to use this passage to justify their disbelief and denial of the gospel, that we are saved by faith alone, in Christ alone, that Jesus died for our sins, was buried and resurrected, that Jesus has clothed us in his righteousness, freely, by faith. Never mind them. It is their choice to make. They think they are righteous in themselves by what they have done or by what they do, in whole or in part, but they deceive themselves. They have gone out to establish their own righteousness instead of submitting themselves to the righteousness of Christ by faith. Jesus made it clear that it's not just about what a person does, but it's about what's in their mind and their thoughts. In Matthew 5 we read, Ye have heard that it was said of them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery, with her already in his heart. Properly established, the law should bring a person to their knees, knowing they need a Savior to justify them in every way, because their own attempts at righteousness fall short. They need the righteousness of Jesus that is freely available only by faith, and not by what a person does. If a person is not clothed in the righteousness of Jesus by faith, they are naked and unrighteous, and they will not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus has blotted out the handwriting of ordinances that were against us. The Gentiles were never under Mosaic law to begin with, and today nobody is under Mosaic law. Jesus has fulfilled it. Yet the religious hypocrites cobble together their own endless versions of law that they choose to curse themselves with. Some are too proud in their self-righteousness to come to faith. Just like the Pharisees of Jesus' day, they neither enter in themselves or suffer others who are entering in. To them, the gospel is foolishness. Some even make fun of it and mock it. 
and call it easy believism. But to us who believe, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. They think they are good in themselves, but they are the unrighteous, because they have rejected the righteousness of Christ by faith. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast.